Ooh. I wonder what this is. Ooh. Nice. My secondary master. Yes. Nice, nice. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am I does this. With only a couple of days left until the game releases, I was torn between picking Trickster main or Technomancer main. So I decided to do a bit of legendary weapon farming while testing and looking at Technomancer's possible builds and what we could be looking at in endgame. While doing so, I found an easy way to do the Altered Warlord accolade and equip the Grace Deliverer accolade with the Technomancer. So without further ado, let's get it. First up, Altered Warlord Accolade. You can do this at World Tier 5 and farm legendary weapons at the same time if you have the setup. The skills you will be using are Scrapnel and Pain Launcher. The mods you will need are more traps on the helmet, more damage on the pants, fine tune on the gloves and supplies on the boots. Everything but the boots stacked with anomaly power. This setup nukes the shit out of the vanguard captain easily. If you don't have the exact setup, you could change the world tier 1 just to do the accolade part with one scrapnel and one pain launcher. To equip the Grace Deliverer accolade, you will be using the Blighted Rounds and Cryo Turret. You also need two weapons with mods that cause status effects that are not freeze or toxic, as your Blighted Rounds will cause the toxic effect and the Cryo Turret will cause freeze. So I use the Shotgun with the Bleeding Bullets mod to inflict bleed and a Pistol, the Stiffening mod that slows enemies. You can use Vulnerable, Weakness and the mod that causes enemies to turn to ash as well. If you find it difficult to do this on world tier 5, you can change it to world tier 1. And now moving forward with the skills and class guide. When the game releases, we will have access to the tool of destruction skill at level 9. Awful for rocket launcher, capable of dealing high damage and interrupting. Hold this skill down to call for a minigun capable of dealing sustained damage. Skill ends when ammo is depleted or weapon swap. At level 13, we will have access to fixing wave, activate a healing gadget. This instantly restores 33% of max health to all players and 50% of max health to all your turrets. Upon reaching level 17, you will unlock cold snap. Deploy a gadget that inflicts freeze on all enemies in a large radius. And once you reach level 22, you will unlock the skill Blighted Turret. This turret will deal damage and inflict toxic to enemies hit. The turret's health will drain over time and as it takes damage, but can be healed by fixing weight. Moving over the class points page, starting with the Pestilence class. Judging from the class nodes, this looks to be your long range slash mid range weapon damaging class. Focusing on assault rifle damage and sniper rifle damage. The smaller nodes increase weapon damage, sniper rifle damage, and assault rifle damage. They also increase damage dealt with blighted rounds and also decreasing the distance considered to be long range by 3 meters. This class will be suited towards the people who like gunplay more than skill spamming. For instance, the empowering antenna node increases weapon damage for yourself and allies by 
for 10 seconds. The skills affected are Blighted Rounds and Blighted Turret. Both these skills inflict toxic on enemies and the class line has two nodes that increase damage dealt on enemies afflicted with toxic. With the cannonade node, I guess you could mix in a bit of skill damage and gunplay but then you wouldn't be taking advantage of the empowering antenna's 40% buff. A scenario I can see being good is having blighted rounds, blighted turret and one of the skills required from the cannonade node. Use blighted rounds for that 10 seconds of 40% damage then use the blighted turret for another 40% for 10 seconds. Then your choice of skill from the cannonade node and gain 30% damage for 10 seconds. Unless the damage increased how much stacks after each skill use, you can then just use the skills as soon as you feel you need to, which will give you 30 seconds of 90% weapon damage. Now let's go over the Tech Shaman class. This one looks like it would be crowd control and healing class with a bit more sustainability. Increasing your health, armor and resistances. Also giving you more weapon life each. On top of that, if I am assuming the overclock node does what I think it does, you get two lives before having to be revived. This class tree increases the free status effects time and also increases damage dealt to enemies who are frozen. On top of that, the exposing frost node adds vulnerable to any enemy that has been frozen, making you deal even more damage. The cryo turret and the cold snap skill both apply freeze to enemies. The cryo turret will freeze any enemies from long range and the cold snap I'm guessing freezes all enemies within the range of you using the skill in a large radius. Could be a good skill to use as an old shit moment when you get surrounded by enemies or running into a big group of enemies and dropping the skill to freeze them back off. With the medical unit node and the doctor of medicine node, you can output 50% more healing 7 seconds or 20% indefinitely. And now, the demolisher. The name of the class says it all. This is your AOE slash nuke class. Demolishing groups of enemies for even a single target elite. This class tree increases anomaly power and gives you buffs based on your explosive skills. I am undecided on whether I want to go healer slash crowd control class or this class. I am usually a lover of explosives and action packed combat but something draws me in on the healer slash crowd control class tree. For the demolisher class, using blighted rounds I think would be a given for anyone using the technomancer. So as this class tree increases toxic damage and makes it last longer, using blighted rounds to inflict toxic on enemies and using scrapnel having up to 3 or more to use before cooldown and using tools of destruction rocket launcher to aim those rockets at groups of enemies and spray the shit out of them with your weapon. This class sounds like it is going to be a lot of fun. This isn't even taken into consideration what mods we will have access to. So with that, ladies and gents, I bring you a little first glance at what a Technomancer could be. Sound off in the comments and let me know what class you love and what class you will main. If you found this video informative and helpful towards you choosing a Technomancer, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn notifications on. Just do it! To support me and continue to bring you these videos. Thanks for watching. I does this.